how to lay aside the burdens of this world. At that same meeting, I also came to understand that I had to let the word separate me from the cares of this world. With that unmet budget staring me in the face, I got my Bible and turned to every scripture in the word of God that guaranteed me, by the blood of Jesus, that my expenses were met. Verses like, But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things, you need, shall be added unto you, Matthew 6 verse 33. Ask, and it shall be given you, Matthew 7 verse 7. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus, Philippians 4 verse 19. Give, and it shall be given unto you, Luke 6 verse 38. Then I went to 1 Peter 5 verse 7, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. I rolled the care of the expenses over on him. I promised God, that with the Holy Spirit as my helper I would not touch that problem in my thought life again. I prepared myself to preach. I told Satan, if you bother me any more about this thing, I'll not even take up an offering tonight. I will get it by faith, and when I do, I'll just have added testimony, to give in my next meeting. Can I have your attention for a few seconds? Before we delve deep into this video, please help us spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, by supporting our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash You will instantly gain access to over 180 Christian videos, and over 400 videos about billionaire biographies, and over 140 personal development videos, and over 450 verse, and quotes images among other goodies. If you are watching this video, and you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord, and personal Savior I'll help you do that right now, because it is for this very purpose, that we create these videos. Giving your life to the Lord, is the best decision you can ever make in your entire life on earth. I invite you to make Jesus your Lord today. In Romans 10 verse 9 the Bible says that, If thou confess with thy mouth, that Jesus is Lord, and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Please, pray this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe with all of my heart that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died on the cross, and that on the third day God raised him from the dead. I believe that Jesus is the Lord of my life from this day onward. I'm now born again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Well done for making this prayer. You are now born again. Attend a Bible-based church and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us on Patreon to keep learning the truth of God's word as you become an excellent Christian every day. Our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash link is also in the description. Let's continue with our today's topic. I wanted to worry so badly. I went into the courtyard of that motel, and walked around the swimming pool. Every time I thought about the problem, I would say out loud, No, I have rolled the care of that over on the Lord. I will not think about it. The budget is met. I kept quoting the word of God to myself and to Satan. I had to keep talking out loud to keep my mind from worrying. I couldn't worry, as long as I had to think about what I was saying. After a while, a man drove up in the driveway, and began to honk his horn. I saw him, but didn't respond, because I don't visit with people, when I am in prayer or meditation. I tried to ignore him, but he kept honking the horn. Finally, he stuck his head out of the window and shouted, Come here. It was with such authority that I obeyed. He said to me, Brother KG, I'm sorry to disturb you, but I had to get your attention. I'm committed to another obligation, and will be late for the meeting tonight. I was afraid I would miss the offering. He handed me a check. I prayed over the gift, and shook the man's hand. I went back to my room and opened that check. It was for $500. The offering in the service, that night was for the exact amount I needed for the budget expenses. I paid all of my bills, and left town knowing full well, that the word works. There is only one way you will get to the place, where people will chase you down to put money into your offering. And that is for you to put the word of God first place, and make it final authority. Strip away everything else but the word. If I had not rid myself of that care and cast it over on God, that need would probably have never been met. Law and Grace Law and grace are mutually exclusive. Legalism and love are often opposites. Keeping rules does not make you righteous, you are made righteous by faith. Lord keep me from doctrinal weirdness. Don't let me be deluded or deceived. Through faith we are redeemed, not through our abilities or good works. The best hiding place for the devil is the church apostle Benga. Faith and prayer. Prayer and holy life are one, they are mutually inclusive, they mutually act and react, the absence of one is the absence of the other. You have faith when things don't work, or you don't need faith. Good and happy times never made true faith. You have faith when you don't see what you seek or you don't need faith. A faith that can be destroyed by suffering has no foundation. Strong faith doesn't stagger, it holds firm and resolute through trial, tribulations, adversity, poverty, tragedies and all manner of earthly problems God cannot resist through faith. Faith's confession creates reality. Patience and faith doubles outcome. Through faith we are redeemed, not through our abilities or good works, by grace and the love and mercy of God are we saved. Fear, worry, and doubt are the greatest enemies of faith. Fear and faith cannot grow together. Faith is believing in taking appropriate action based on the word of God. 
If nothing is too hard for God, then why do you believe your problem is? The only thing in life without effort is failure. Problems never leave us where they met us. They either make us better or bitter, wealthier or poor, bigger or smaller, wiser or more foolish, happier or sadder. But the good consolation is that it is all a matter of self-choice. The one who kneels to the Lord can stand up to anything. Kites rise higher against the wind, not with it. Pray for the answer, receive the answer, become the answer. It is not enough to talk the word of God, we have got to walk the talk. True faith can change the sequence of events. Speaking and praying in tongues will energize your spirit and give you dominion over your circumstances. True faith is impossible without repentance and forgiveness. Make every prayer a statement of faith. If you pray seven times for any one thing, you prayed six times in unbelief. It's not good taste to ask God for the same thing over and over again. The word of God never returns without accomplishing what God set it out to do. Let every thought and desire affirm that you have what you ask for. Be the change you wish to become, even before receiving your answer. Do not undo your prayers, it's thinking faith thoughts and speaking faith words that leads the heart out of defeat into victory. In true faith, worry is sin, it amounts to doubting God's words. How vastly different is the sentence of the word and the sentiment of the world concerning the suffering of this present time. Faith is the lifestyle of the rich and famous in Christ. The more we know of the other things, the less we wonder, but the further we are led into the gospel mysteries, the more we are affected by them. Be faithful in small things God gives, and he will give you better bigger projects. Our obedience in small things is vital if we are to learn to follow him in bigger projects. Whatever believers may be separated from, enough remains. No one can take Christ from the believer, none can take the believer from Christ. God tests, Satan tempts. Faith always works, if it didn't work, then it wasn't faith. No prayer no success, little prayer little success, much prayer much success. It is foolish to pray against sin, and then sin against prayer. We need Christians for whom prayer is the first resort, not the last. There is a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. If I can do what I can do, then God will do the things I can't do. Every challenge you face now will be your testimony. If you put righteous words on voicemail, God will put your prayers on voicemail. It appears God will do nothing without prayer. Don't be bitter about your past, choose to let it go and trust the God to make it right. Jesus' High Priestly Prayer of John 17 1. Jesus prays to keep the saints in the Father's name, I come to you. Holy Father, keep through your name those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are. John 17 verse 11. 2. Jesus prays to keep the saints from the evil one I do not pray, that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. John 17 verse 15. 3. Jesus prays that the saints might be sanctified by truth sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. John 17 verse 17. 4. Jesus prays that the saints would experience the fullness of God's glory, that they all may be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be one in you, yes, that the world may believe, that you sent me. The glory which you gave me, I have given them, that they may be one just as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that you have sent me, and have loved them as you have loved me. Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which you have given me, for you loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known, that you sent me. And I have declared to them your name, and will declare it, that the love with which you love me may be in them, and I in them. John 17 verse 21 to 26. Can you please do us a favor? If you have been blessed by this video, please leave a comment, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and invite at least 200 plus souls, it could be family and friends, to visit Discofeth YouTube channel, so that they may hear the gospel of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and be born again. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us on Patreon, our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash Link is also in the description. Thank you and God bless you.